Hey, welcome back to Makefield Modify. I'm Justin. Today, drawing parallel, perpendicular, and spiral lines on pipe, or anything that's cylinder-shaped. You see here, I'm just drawing a line with a piece of angle iron. You just nestle the pipe in there, and you can get a straight line. If you don't have angle iron, you can use uh, bar stock, or this is just some tubing. Same idea. If you don't have anything metal, you can use a piece of wood as long as the, the uh, lines on the wood are parallel. R you know, rip it in a table saw, make sure it's parallel and get the same effect. And finally, you can use a large speed square and use the T-shape to get the same effect. Here's a perpendicular line on a piece of pipe. Just use a tape measure. This is kind of like the down and dirty way of doing it. Just squeeze that tape around the pipe, line up the edges, and draw a line. This is pretty accurate, but if you want an even more accurate line, use the speed square for the parallel line. And then I'm just using a piece of eight and a half by 11 printer paper, taping that paper to that line and just wrapping it around the pipe. You know, line the sides up just like this. And then that's a perpendicular line. You draw all the way around. Okay, now that we have those two methods, we can use them to draw the starting points for the spiral. First, we draw a parallel line, and then we'll use a piece of paper to draw two perpendicular lines. Speed it up a little bit here. I'm just using Sharpie. It's not very accurate, but you can see it on camera a little better. So now we have those two spiral lines and the one, or rather the two uh, perpendicular lines and the one parallel line. And we're gonna wrap that tube around once. And we're gonna mark where that line starts and that's gonna create a relationship that's one circumference around that pipe. And we're gonna go from that one full turn to zero which creates a triangle that spirals around the pipe once in the length of the two perpendicular lines. So now we just draw along the edge of that triangle to get our spiral. Okay, now we're gonna do a spiral that goes around the pipe twice in the same distance. We're using a little bit longer piece of paper. We wrapped it once. We're gonna wrap it a second time. We're marking it. Now we're gonna have a triangle that's a little longer at the base. Same idea. We're gonna cut the triangle and tape it back onto the pipe. Now there's a problem here because it wraps over itself. So we have to draw with a pencil on the paper until it stops covering itself. Finish the mark with a marker. And then we're going to remove the paper and we're going to cut the smaller triangle out and we're going to put that back on the pipe and then we're going to finish the spiral with the marker and that gives us two spins in the same distance i'll have the tools and materials listed in the description although there weren't many for this video and if you think i earned it please subscribe 